1452 Harmony, folks. I got to tell you what, I love my King, my 2000 Royal King Classic. There's so many great things to say about him, but you know what? Duke here is like anybody else. He can be a little touchy at times. Okay, so just to clarify, or get started, I should say, Duke is one of my top two favorite motorcycles I know that I've ever had, and maybe is the best motorcycle that I've ever had. For a ton of reasons, and if you follow my channel, you see me out on Duke, my 2000 Road King Classic. Yes, I need my motorcycles. And yes, this is named after John Wayne, the Duke. And before I get started with these two little, eh, let's say issues, because you know, at the end of the day, people or things you really love has one or two little quirks about them that you just kind of put up with or you kind of think is cute. I'll tell you about that with Mrs. Bodine here before I uh, before I leave this video. That's uh, if I remember. Um, so let, let's start with the, especially if you knew the channel, there's been a lot of new folks over the last three or four months while I've been hibernating in uh, Michigan for the last what feels like, uh, I don't know, a year. Uh, but so welcome to the channel. This is my 2000 Road King Classic. And I have done videos on why I love this bike you know, the top five things I love about it, all that stuff, and I'll leave that in the description if you want to go back and check those out. Um, but one of the reasons that I love it is this bike, number one, is much lighter than my uh, uh, Roguelite Limited by about 300 pounds, so you can, uh, hate to use the word toss it around a little more, but you can toss it around a little bit more. Um, and it's an older bike. Um, and uh, one, I love the, and it's beautiful. I love the rumble. <laughs> this is a part of it. But the other thing is, there's no electronics. There's no phones. There's no nothing. It's just you and the bike. And that's one of the reasons that I love it so much. And Duke has, like many bikes, I'm sure you have them, a little personality. Let me tell you what I mean. So again, today it's... Uh, first really warm day in Michigan, in my opinion, in like, you know, 16 years. Okay, all right, maybe six months. But it's 82 degrees out, and it's beautiful out. So, um, Duke has been in the garage. I did get him out one time this year when it was a little cold, and I still had the uh, Clockwork 16-inch windshield. And, um, hey, it was awesome, man, because it was cold and helped me out, but I got on the bike today and I, I went to back it out of the garage and put it, you know, started up in the driveway and um, it wouldn't start. And I'm like, crap, what's wrong? And finally it, I started hearing voices coming from it. And it's like, take the windshield off, take the windshield off. Okay, really, it started, it always starts great. <laughs> this is a great running motorcycle, it's been amazing for me. But, Duke does not like the uh, windshield on. Doesn't look cool. Adds all that weight. Tons of reasons that Duke doesn't like it. All right, really, the, we know. I know, I know, I know. The bike doesn't care. You are 100% right. But Duke loves it when I take him out on roads like this and scenery like this. But I just hate riding with the windshield on this bike. You know, you really get that uh, breeze, you really get that feel, it really has that iconic Road King look that I just simply love. The second thing, or really the one thing that is truly a Dukeism, Dukeism, is that such a thing? Why do we need bikes, by the way? Focus, buddy, focus. Okay. The other thing is, and he wonders why these people are out on the road on the day that I am out riding all day, 
No, he doesn't. He doesn't really care about that either. Focus. Okay. What Duke really has a challenge with is Duke does not, does not necessarily like the cold weather. Nor do I, to be honest with you. Another reason that we should move out of Michigan or be a snowbird. I used to think people that were snowboard, snowbirds were just old people. Now I realize they weren't old people. They were wise people because that's what I want to do. I really want to go around all three of these folks, by the way. Uh, but Duke does not like the cold weather. There's just no doubt about that. So, um, and first of all, Duke is not, because everybody always says this, is not carbureted. So this is a 2000. I think it changed in 1999, maybe. Not sure. Um, regardless, it's not carbonated. 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 That's it, right? Okay, back to it. Back to it. Um, Duke, if two things. One is, even if it's summertime, if you don't warm Duke up in the driveway for about five minutes, he is not, or ten minutes, he's not going to run well. He just is not. He's going to spit, spatter. He just doesn't, doesn't like it at all. As it gets a little colder, it's even worse. So I have to make sure that I get Duke out there and go ahead and let Duke get all warmed up. And maybe that's just, you know, an older bike and I don't know any better. Um, obviously the brakes on Duke work well still. People, people should join the Bodine 52. YouTube channel so they know when I'm going out so they'll stay off the roads. But yeah, Duke does not, uh, definitely doesn't like being cold. Now, I don't know if, let me rephrase that, Duke does not like being not warmed up. Uh, you can ride him uh, when it's cold out and he runs, he does great. Um, but I'll tell you what, if you get on this bike, you know, I know a lot of people, the old, do you start your bike and ride it for a while or not? Um, debate. You know, for me, uh, what I do is I start the bike, put my gear on, and then I take off. But not with this bike. I definitely warm uh, warm him up more, and then he just runs better. But you know what? I really don't care about that at all uh, because at the end of the day, this is just an iconic, amazing motorcycle. And I've told people this before. I will never, ever, ever, ever sell this bike. So, when I pass away, it's going to be a gift to somebody. Okay, that's not an invitation to knock me off. I know you were thinking about it, but I am going to give this bike away because there's no way I can sell this when I'm on this earth because I'm in love. And when you're in love, those little couple things, even the things that Mrs. Bodine does that I thought would annoy me when we dated, are even getting cuter when I get older. I'm so getting soft. I need to take my helmet off, turn my hat backwards, wear a cut-off t-shirt, get on Duke, and rip it up. Woohoo! Alright, big boy, let's get after it! Thanks, folks! Check out a friend. Be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.